Hello, my name is Marie Diamond. I'm your Feng Shui Master. And today I want to share with you how to let go. Because it's one of the things that a lot of people have a hard time with. Not just in decluttering, but also what is inside of you, right? Your emotions, your anger, your pain, how to let go of that. Now, I love the word let go, but I, I always kind of change the word let go. I say it's let God. So when you say, I let go, you actually surrender. You actually say to the universe, to God, you know, I give the power in you because I've been trying to control my life. As I've been trying to control my life, I have actually not trusted the flow of energy. I got stuck. Because when people are stuck in their lives, stuck in their homes, stuck in their business, stuck in their relationship, it is because they are holding on to something emotionally, mentally, physically that doesn't give them the space to go in the right flow. So let go means let God take care of you. Let the divine flow, let the universal energy come back into your life and let it flowing in your life again. So how can you start, right? Well, there are two steps, right? So there, and allow it to go to the universe. You will feel amazed. You will feel so amazing after this. It's like this heaviness, this weight will come from you. It's like, it's a relaxation that will happen. I have seen this and I've done this with many people and some of them are crying. Some of them feel like, oh, I have, again, this new space in myself, a space to create goals because some of you are telling me, Marie, my goals are not happening. Well, how can they happen? Because there is no space for your goals to happen. You're still holding on to what was going wrong in the life. You still were holding on to what went wrong in your life. You were still holding on to what was just not working. So, but hey, it's the past. You can never relive the past. Right? Perhaps you're trying, but it's not happening. You can only live from the present to the future. So that's the first thing I would like you to do, to create a let go letter to yourself. If you want, and there's a lot of stuckness and a lot of things you're holding on about a certain relationship, let's say about you, to your mother, to your father, to your partner, to your children, you can do a let go letter towards a certain person. But the first one is always towards yourself. Let go about things in yourself. But you can do like a let go letter to your father or to your mother and say like, I'm upset about all things. I need to let go of this and this and this situation. And at the end, instead of saying, I forgive myself, you say, I am willing to forgive my father. I'm forgive, willing to forgive my child. I'm willing to forgive my boss, whoever that might be, right? As you're doing that, it will be so much better. And interesting enough, as you're letting that go, again, you are burning the leather outside in a beautiful sunny day, no rain, no uh, clouds, and it goes straight, it goes straight to the center of the universe. So that's the first thing, let go paper, the let go letter. The second part is, is starting to let go in the physical world, yeah? And letting go in the physical world is really decluttering, is um, looking, first of all, in your space, what are the areas I've been holding on to things? And it can be you've been holding on to uh, things from the past, letters, pictures, clothes, shoes, um, anything that you feel like this is not longer serving me for the future. If I want some new money flow, if I want to have some new relationships, if I want to have some new life experiences, I need to let go of things that represent the past relationship, the past um, money flow, the past um, the, the past experience. So I'll give you an example. If you um, have a lot of material around the previous career that you had, um, but you want a new career, well, let go of the things that are connected with that. It can be books, it can be material, it can be... Um, you know, written material that you have there or books, just let all this go. 
It can be about a relationship. It can be that you're holding on to some of the books, the letters, the gifts that have been given to you, uh, pictures, and you're like, perhaps they're all around you still. And you want a new relationship, but subconsciously you're all the time saying, I'm still holding on to what is happening from the past. Then let go of that. I remember this one woman and she had this beautiful painting uh, above her headboard was given by her boyfriend, her ex-boyfriend. And I said to her, but why don't you let it go? I said, but yeah, I just love it. I said, by keeping it there, you're actually saying, I'll hope that he comes back. She said, yeah, I really do hope he comes back. I said, will he come back? I said, well, he got married or he has a child. I said, oh, chances are very slim, right? So why don't you take this out, right? And put something connected with a future possibility. And so that can be about business. It can be about career. It can be about anything that you still feel like I'm holding onto it, but for what reason? Like I remember my first closet I ever helped space clear was the one of my mom and she had her shoe closet and she had shoes from 25 years for and I said to her why are you holding on to that well she said you never know it gets fashion again I said mom your shoe size has gone up you're from a 37 you're now a 39 because her feet were swollen and you know I said what do you think? And she said, yeah, you're right. So let go of the things that do not longer serve you anymore. So make sure you connect with somebody that helps you out and ask your question all the time. Is this not longer serving me anymore? Is it not time to let it go? So this is how you can let go both in yourself and around yourself and create a little bit of space clearing so that the flow of the universe comes back in your life and now you can finally get your goals manifested for the future.